Hi everyone and welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on this Saturday evening. Hazy skies have been uh, thickening across the valley as we've gone throughout our day. We'll talk more about that here uh, momentarily, but I want to bring your attention to uh, a first alert weather day that we have declared for Wednesday. We will see heat building through the week and that heat is going to reach a peak by Wednesday. So we've given you that first alert. Here's a look at your temperature trend through the week. Uh, by tomorrow, we'll be near 90 degrees for many into the 90s by Tuesday. Some hitting the triple digits by Wednesday afternoon. We'll have more on that forecast here, but today's high temperatures have been in the 70s and 80s. 85 here in Fargo, 83 Grand Forks, a little cooler up to the north. 81 in Baudette, Roseau, Hallock, 79 Cavalier and Langdon. Rolla, the cooler spot today at 75 degrees. Right now here in Fargo, even with the haze, we're still at 83 degrees. Cloud free skies. Wind is out of the north at 12 miles per hour, pulling in a bit more of that wildfire smoky haze from the wildfires that are continuously burning in Canada. Right now in Grand Forks, 82 north northwesterly wind at 10 miles per hour. Temperatures now are cool in uh, parts of Beltrami County, only 67 degrees right now in Bemidji. Meanwhile, just down the road in Park Rapids, 83. And that's due to some rain cooled air as we've had some showers and storms moving through parts of our easternmost counties in Minnesota through this afternoon. The stronger storms have been out to the east, but even over the last hour or so they started to diminish. Now about the air quality, we've got an air quality alert that went into effect at four o'clock this afternoon and will remain in place until 6 p.m. on Wednesday. And we've mentioned it many times throughout this year as we've had numerous air quality alerts. The state of North Dakota does not issue these type of alerts, but we will have diminished air quality. Here's a look. Here's the uh, most recent numbers of the air quality index. Check out uh, War Road. 153 the current reading that's our poorest air quality there but we've got another plume of smoke uh, if affecting the james river valley jamestown's air quality now at 120. through tonight the air quality will continue to decrease across northern minnesota as that north wind continues to pull in more smoke and it'll even thicken through the day tomorrow stick around and still be here through the day on monday here's a look at your planning forecast hour by hour leftover showers and storms exiting and we will be clearing overnight the wind diminishing as well temperatures by tomorrow morning generally in the upper 50s to low 60s with increasing cloud cover from out west so just a few clouds to start our sunday a few hit and miss clouds through the day and we have a chance late in the day for some thunderstorms across the northern red river valley can't rule out a strong storm or two, but temperatures tomorrow very seasonable. And here comes the heat that will continue to build through the week. Again, reaching a peak here Wednesday before that pattern changes and we start to see some more seasonable temperatures. Your proceed farming forecast. It's going to be hot and along with this heat, we have almost daily chances for storms. We'll continue to watch it. Not ready. for. Yeah, not looking heat. forward to any of that really. No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Summer. We appreciate it. There will